Hello and welcome, or welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler, also known as The Chez, and this is Chezzy Tunes, where I try to bring humor and entertainment to the EDM space. Yeah, that sounds right. And today we are here with the latest Nosphere EP, Siren's Call. It came out near the beginning of July, and I haven't had a chance to check it out. So here we are. I'll be the first to admit that I am not the biggest Nosphere fan. It's very rare that a Nosphere song, it's very rare that a Nosphere song clicks with me or really like gets me going. A lot of them have been kind of forgettable for me. Uh, I feel, there's been a few that I've enjoyed. I, I can't think off the top of my head what they were, but I do keep up with Nosphere just to see because sometimes things happen. It's not that they're bad usually. It's just that they don't really stand out for me, but We've got an EP to check out. We've got five songs. One of them's gotta be a banger, right? Hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed. So we'll see. I've also been very vocal uh, in my in one of my first videos, my second video on this channel, that I am not the biggest supporter of most things that come out of Disciple Roundtable. That label is the biggest mixed bag I've ever seen in my life. So we will see if this can stand out. So today, we've got the Sirens Call EP by Nosphere, first track, Saturn. It was already a little crunchy, not in a good way. Could be the Spotify quality, but that was a little weird. No sphere. I like a lot of dubstep and tear out and rhythm and whatever, but at the same time, I know what I like and what I don't like, or I know what feels very bland and samey and what doesn't stand out to me. And I've got some hot takes in terms of dubstep and dubstep artists, but anyway, no sphere. Come on, win me over. All right. I don't know what that snare is. It's barely a snare. It sounds like a distant sneeze. Or something, I don't know. But it's... It's got some rum, rum, rum. Okay. Interesting, uh, like, rhythm to it. Interesting flow. It's like, not triplets. I don't know what that is. But this is another one where it's like... I don't think it's being particularly memorable. Like this would go into my dubstep playlist where I've got dubstep songs and it would come on and it would be a dubstep song that I would listen to or rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. It'd be a rhythm song, but not one that I'm like, ooh, bro, you gotta hear this drop. Oh, this one's gonna pop off. We gotta throw on Saturn. I feel like that's what a lot of uh, No Sphere song. I can't, I can't say that. That's what I feel a lot of Nosphere songs and Disciple Roundtable songs are for me, where it's like a lot of time they're just doing like the cookie cutter stuff, you know? I like that more than anything else. I don't. Wow, wow, wow. Right before the drop. That's my favorite part. And yeah, that snare is not doing the song any favors. It gets a little repetitive. I mean, it is, you know, a rhythm song, but. It's only three, not even three and a half minutes, and yet, it, I don't know, it feels a little, a little lengthy. So yeah, I think it just falls into the trap uh, that a lot of the songs on the label and uh, from similar artists uh, fall for me. What was I saying? How did I word the beginning of that sentence? I'm just lost. I'm losing my brain here. It's just bland it's a little generic i guess like it's checking the boxes like oh we've got to build up we've got a little thing before the drop it's hitting with the drop it's got it's got a sub it's got a womp 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 sound design was fine i didn't mind the sound design but it just gets a little repetitive it doesn't do anything super memorable other than i did, like i said i like the little sound little light light right before the drop but that was about it that's the only thing i'm gonna remember from it and even that is slightly escaping my memory already so just i don't even think it's quite hitting the bar it's definitely not hitting the bar to be something i really want to throw on it's gonna be a part of the big pile of average rhythm -y, dubstep -y songs and be forgotten that's all it is but next up we've got siren's call so maybe that'll do it let's go Okay. I like the siren. The siren singing to me. Don't go towards it, though. Don't go towards it. It's a cool sample. Or vocals, or, you know, however it was obtained. A fine intro. But I feel like now we're just gonna bring out some relatively generic 
stuff. Ah, uh, I mean, this one's pretty fat. Like, it's large. This is how it walks around. I'm finding this one more interesting than the previous one, for sure. And a way better snare. It's an improvement. We've gone up, in my opinion, from the previous song. I feel like the production on this one's a little, a little more interesting. Still not quite to the point where I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not throwing my chair out the window or anything. That's what I do when I hear a real good song. Just what, I don't get what he has against spheres though. That's my only, I just, I don't understand. Second drop, change it up. He's teasing me. Are we gonna change it? I mean, a little bit. Right here, right here is the change. The changes are here. I mean, I keep doing this move. I don't know, that's the move it makes me wanna do. Uh, yeah, I mean, the main kind of melody here, I don't like the sim four, it's kind of repetitive. I'm yawning. So, I do still, I still think it's an improvement. Not by much. I think it was maybe just because it was more energy. Maybe it was because it was grittier. So I don't even know if that necessarily means it was better because I was still kind of getting worn out by it by the end. I think it was also too long. I don't think it needed to be four and a half minutes. Very similar complaints though. Just, yeah, just, it has interesting sounds. The production was a little better in my opinion than the first track, but it still just gets stale. It just gets very samey. It doesn't do enough to be like, oh yeah, I remember that part in Siren's Call when it did that. That was so cool. I needed to have a moment, a sound, a something. It just kind of goes, you know? It just, it just there, it's just there, it just exists. Next up, one, could it be the one? I think I like this intro. Kind of like these melodies going on. I don't like the really heavy side chaining on the kick sometimes. And now the melody is a little, for the actual build up is a little annoying. Come on, let this be the one. Three, two, one. Another weird snare. Um. Uh, three, two. Three, two. I kind of like it when it's sustained. I like it more as a sustained note than I do as like trying to make a melee out of it. Okay, that's too high. No, that's too high pitched. Ah, this one's just, this one's a little annoying. I don't like that main synth. I don't, it's just, ew, yeah. This one I'm not vibing with. This one ain't a vibe. Second drop. Get rid of that whatever synth you were using before. I know you won't, but I'm still gonna ask. Come on. Three, two. Now I'm starting to have problems with the kicks even. I don't know. <laughs> the longer this one goes on, the more issues I'm finding with it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one ain't the one. It just goes and it goes and it goes. Still don't like the synth. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the next one is Brig of Dread, which we have heard because that was part of the Knights of the Round Table compilation. So I have done a reaction to this. You can watch the full reaction in that video. If you haven't already, you should check it out. It's still a fun video. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a very quick snippet because I've already heard it, but we'll do the first drop again. I do remember liking the intro of this song. I can't remember the drop off the top of my head. We'll get a reminder, but okay. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this what it sounded like at first? I feel like it was different. Maybe I'm crazy. I mean, it has been a while. It's been several months since I've heard this song. Yeah, 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 yeah. The throat singing. The throat singing. This song has a great intro. But I remember not liking the drop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. I remember. Yep, yep. Yeah. Now, it's all flooding back to me. I like that. As I said in the original reaction. That's the highlight. Everything else is too repetitive. It's just, ugh, but. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, I kind of did it. That's the best part for sure. The throat singing and the. So, yeah, like I said, you can watch the full reaction if you want in that video, but very similar complaints of it just gets a little repetitive. The sounds aren't memorable enough. They kind of just blend together with the rest of, you know, dubstep or rhythm as a whole. Uh, the throat singing, the intro on this one is definitely good. The, the, the intro is memorable. The buildup is memorable. The is memorable despite me forgetting about it until I heard it again, but still, it, it all came back to me. But the main sound, like the focus of the song, the focus of the drops, at least, is not particularly memorable. And, you know, dubstep and rhythm are very centered around their drops. So if your drop isn't hidden, if your drop isn't memorable, it makes the rest of the song hard to remember as well. But we've got one more, one more shot, one more round in the chamber. Last song is Memer. Am I crazy? Is that not a word? Memer. What is Memer? Am I stupid? Am I, am I doing a dumb right now? Oh, it's an adjective. Mindful remembering. Okay, like memory. I mean, I could have assumed. I've just never heard Memer. I mean, I believe you. Let's go. Memer. Yeah. Bro. Oh like 808s or something going on. What are all the, cause there's 808s. What are all the different ones? What are all the different kind of bases or kicks or whatever? There's 808s. Anyway. <gasps> okay. That's an interesting build up. I don't mind this build up. Okay, I think the sub, like everything's too like, too vibrating. Everything's kind of mushy, but that one was doing something. I'm not offended by that one. I, hearing it a second time, this feels a little weird. Like the kind of hip hoppy nature to it combined with these vocals. I don't really feel like they mesh well. Yeah, the vocals just feel out of place or something. I don't know if either the vocals sound out of place or the production doesn't fit with them. Well, something's out of place. Something's not, they, they don't feel cohesive here. Final drop of the EP, let's go. Not bad, okay. Nothing super memorable, but got the energy. Ah, I'm at least kind of vibing with it. Hmm, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that how you feel? All right, so that was the Sirens Call EP. I don't like to be negative on the channel. The fact that you're able to produce music, the fact that you're on a label, the fact that like, I know who Nosphere is. Nosphere has listeners. They are fairly popular in the space. So like, I still respect you. I still respect what you are doing. It's just not for me. It's not clicking with me. For me, it just feels a little bland for the most part, or just nothing comes off as super memorable other than parts of Brig of Dread, which is a song that came out long before this EP did. So all the new stuff that I'm hearing, Saturn and Siren's Call, like they're fine, but like I just listened to them and I can't even remember what they sound like. There wasn't anything. I mean, I remember the siren. I remember the singing in Siren's Call, but like I can't remember any of these drops after they've happened because they just aren't doing anything super memorable. They don't have that like distinct sound that's like, ooh, I haven't heard that before. Not that a song always needs to, but there's just nothing for me to really write home about. Nothing for me to be like, ooh, someone's got to check this out. Ooh, I got to recommend this song to somebody. I got to share this one. It's just padding your catalog. It's just adding songs to the genre. It's just, here's another EP. It's nothing super refreshing. 
some of the productions a little lackluster some of the sounds either they are memorable or they're almost like yeah, like a little grading or I don't know. Like it's just all more or less by the books. It gets a little repetitive at times. Nothing gives me that uh, that I'm looking for, you know? It's just average at best. It's just forgettable. That That is what it is. It is what it is. But what did you guys think? Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe this just isn't for me. I don't know. What did you think of Siren's Call? What do you think of Nosphere? And I feel like I already know, but again, what do you feel about Disciple Roundtable as a label? But as always, I appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. What should I react to next? And of course, keep on jamming out, my dudes. Peace.